Well, I guess I haven't really shown the setup inside of the new coop, so I thought I'd start this little chicken update with a look at what's going on in there. The uh, lamp that you see is just temporary to give me some extra lighting for filming. This large fan on a pedestal, uh, in the afternoons it gets quite warm, so I bring that over in front of the window on the door and turn it on, and it exhausts the hot air out of here and uh, forces in some of the uh, cooler temperatures outside. Because of the dark color of the roof and the building, it gets quite hot in there without the fan going. So that seems to cool it down quite nicely. And these are my Chanticleers, which are just slightly over three weeks old. Still looking a little on the rough side here because of the fact that they're still growing their new feathers in. If you see red and pink birds, that's because they're under an infrared heat lamp there in the corner. I also shut that off in the afternoon so it doesn't get too hot in there. But Anyway, what we'll move on to now is what's in the, the box here. I'll put the camera down in with them and uh, give you a little lecture on what happened to bring these five little guys into the world. These are five little hybrid uh, bantam chicks from my own hens here. Since they all look very similar, I'm assuming they, that their mother, the hens, various hens, I have three mottled cochin hens and I think these are all going to look like mottled cochins when they get a little bit bigger. Uh, and their father is Prince Leah, the uh, black silky bantam. Um, I started with eight eggs. I wasn't sure if I would get anything uh, because from what I have read in the past, most breeders of cochins uh, have to artificially inseminate um, because of the large puff of feathers on their back. It's very hard for the rooster to breed them. Well, as I've been joking, telling people, Prince Lee has been walking around for two days here now, handing out cigars and saying, I told you I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I started with eight eggs and three of them were not fertile. The other five continued to develop and all five are in there and doing well. If you can see that one that's laying down, it's not really dead. That's what they look like when they, when they lay down for, their, for a nap. But every one of those, I had to assist getting them out of the egg. I don't know what the issue was. I don't think I did anything different with the incubator than I did for the uh, Shanty Clares and they all hatched on their own, but these all began to hatch the way little chicks begin. They peck a little hole, an air hole, to get air, but almost 24 hours later with them, and that was it. They hadn't progressed any further, and I was scared they were going to die in the egg, so I, uh, some of them came out fairly easily. I just sort of tapped on the egg a bit and cracked some more of the shell and put it back, and they got their own way out with the the very last one I had to even bring it out of the egg after I had removed half the shell um, put it back in the incubator and it was just going to dry out and stay there it, it just didn't have any energy left to to kick and and uh, bring itself out of the out of the egg so and that one I don't really understand the structure inside of a hen's egg, but there are external blood vessels, veins or whatever, that are attached to the, the interior of, of the shell, and I don't know at what point blood stops flowing to them or whatever, but it's one of the things you have to be very cautious with when you are assisting, and this, the last one, the little fifth one, hen or rooster, I don't know what it might be, but um, there was actually some bleeding and I was really scared I was going to lose it. I left it in the incubator longer than anything else and I would give it water by dipping my finger in water and getting a drop on the end of my finger and the little thing would take it and drink it and eventually it, it, it revived and is doing as well as the others. They're all running around eating and drinking now so it's going to be fun to watch these grow up. From what I, I'm no expert on any of this stuff, but from what I have read uh, hens, chickens take their feathering from gene, comes from the hen. So these should all look like mottled cochins um, with some characteristics of the uh, the rooster. I, those could be anything from they could have the, the type of uh, comb 
that a silky has. Um, they could have an extra toe, or silkies have an extra toe. They've all got feathered legs, which are silky has some feathering on the legs, but so do cochin. So that's it's, anyway. It'll be interesting to see when they're fully grown how much of a silky characteristic they have. But five of them have hatched, and five of them are are doing well. It's been over 24 hours now since the. The last one was removed from the egg. Well, that's a little update from the new coop.